What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, we're here to talk about the extinction of the A-list drummers. So, as you may remember, there were three A-list drummers. A-list studio drummer, A-list classic drummer, and A-list power drummer. So, as you can see right here on my screen, virtual drummer Solid will replace the virtual studio, the A-list studio drummer, sorry. So, virtual drummer Solid replaces A-list studio drummer. Then here for Fat, this one will replace the A-list classic drummer. As virtual drummer heavy, you may have guessed, will replace the A-list power drummer. Now, if you own the A-list drummers, you do not lose out on them. They will still be in your products, in your uh, Reason Studios account. However, if you would like these, there is an upgrade, cross-grade option. So it's only about I believe $19 if you own one of these to get the new version of that and if you want all of them then you'll have to look into the pricing tiers more in depth yourself so these may look familiar to you these are available already as VSTs um, AUs and AAXs so you can use them in Logic Pro Tools other dolls retrospectively retrospectively is not the word I'm looking for oh well um, so the reason for the name changes were said to be more descriptive. I don't necessarily understand how fat can describe things, but that is just my opinion. Um, moving from classic, at least, I don't necessarily draw. Anyways, um, the, the good thing about these are that all of the samples from the English drummers are still there. So you can definitely use all of the samples that you were using before. Don't feel like you're gonna your songs aren't gonna change anything. Like I said, the A-list drummers are still available. If you already bought them, then you do still own them. Now there are 60 styles for each drummer and 150 new presets for them as well. So you'll have a lot of fun with a lot more variation. In addition to that, there is a mix and master section down here that now includes tune and decay. Previously, those were not available. You can now also mix and match drums from separate kits. So here we see kick B, um, I can change it to kick A, snare to, you know, and so on. So if I'm playing this one, there's a pattern and here on the kick, change the snare so easily mix and match from different kits now with that being said there aren't a ton of samples to choose from based off of what you can mix and match however they are there <coughs> there are mixing presets over here so we have hi-fi raw punch retro comp and crush now i urge you to go try all of these out and see the difference between the a-list drummers uh keep in mind this will not replace the reason drum kits rack extension which is a rendition of the reason drum kits refill in rack extension form um they had mentioned ujam specifically had mentioned that these rack extensions are here so that you can use them in reason directly um i don't see any drawbacks from using a vst in reason since that is possible but it, i guess it makes sense to also have it as a rack extension now that you can use it in well now not right now but in the future you'll be able to use this inside of the reason studios rack plugin so if that is a benefit, then definitely check these out. Otherwise, I understand your possible confusion. Regardless of the possible confusion, I do want you all to check these out. I'll include the link to the rack extensions and the VST versions and whatnot in the description. Um, I tried the VST versions first, and I felt like that was more uh, viable to my workflow because I can use them in other DAWs. Of course, you'll be able to use these moving forward in the Reason Rack plugin, 
but until then, before I knew about that, uh, let's just say it made more sense as a VST. It, it It's cool that it can be integrated, though, nonetheless. But the fact that you can use it as the reason rack plugin as an effect on the VST, AU, or AAX does still bring in more confusion. I don't want to say they just needed something to do. This all sounds so terrible. I'm not trying to offend anybody. So a, a, a reason that the reason that I didn't invest in the A-list drummers was that was because there at the time there was Easy Drummer and Addictive Drums, and we had access to VSTs by then. I, I chose Addictive Drums, and I didn't see this as offering anything special or different compared to those. However. It does have a different sound, different drum samples you can choose from. Obviously, it has different uh, presets and styles also as Addictive Drums and Easy Drummer and whatever else you may have as there are so many options nowadays. So as I said before, definitely try it. If you want the rack extension, the 30-day trial is in existence. If you want the VST, AU, AAX, the 30-day trial is also in existence. I'll include all of those links. It's all culture kick back, cook up, most definitely let me know what you would like to see next.